Hello developers. Today we are going to learn the basics of JavaScript programming. By the end of this video, you will have your concepts cleared about the basic knowledge which is needed for programming in Java. JavaScript is a most used scripting programming language in developing most use cases nowadays. JavaScript can do anything almost any other language can do at comparable speeds. This kid has some simple to use JavaScript exercises to help someone who are starting their journey. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is basics of Java one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you all are excited to build your own JavaScript application. To build your first basic JavaScript program to log in to create a login page, you will need the following. First of all, some basic knowledge of HTML, knowledge in cascading style sheets and how to place the script element into your code. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with most of the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and follow the instructions listed here to set the kit up. So you can pause the video now, set up this kit and then get back to the discussion on the solution. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up the kit, you will see this page. So this page will automatically open to you and the login credential and password is set to root. So once you click on it, I mean enter these details and click on the login button. It will take you to another page wherein we will see this welcome message. So this is a very simple login page that is being created. Now let's go and understand what exactly is happening in the code. So open the folder in a ID of your choice and get to the index.html file. Here you will see that within this we have created, basically we have provided the link to the uh, style sheet that we would like to get the page with. So styles.css is another file which is helping give all the designing, the border, background padding, all those details to the login page. So there are many such style sheets. You can just uh, reference these uh, style sheets directly into your uh, code. And once you have that set up, you actually define the script tag and with the help of this script tag, you define the JavaScript code. And this is where it helps you, uh, you know, design the document, orient it in a manner that you would like to have on-click functions performed for you. Then further what we do is, we see that there is function uh, definition for this input. We have defined what should happen, whether uh, a key is pressed or a function event would be noticed these are the two parameters that we have mentioned here so if a key is pressed if user presses the enter key on the keyboard so the event is a key press and which key the enter key then uh, the default trigger would take place and what is the default trigger the default trigger is the click of the button so button dot click is what uh, is the default trigger so we'll try to understand what is mentioned for the button as well a uh, little uh, when we discussed uh, the code below then we see that what is the function happening in the uh, in the display form so this uh, is a function which has form as one of its parameter so basically this form is helping us take the user input the user name and the password so we have set both of these to root directly and also mentioned once uh, you 
set once these values are defined uh, then what happens to the location where does the transition happen it goes to page 2 so if we go and check the folder in the page 2 it's a simple uh, default uh, you know code for html within which we have the same style sheets being uh, linked here and then we have also uh, taken a container con uh, class container and within that simple heading of welcome is displayed within our form so this is where the code is getting navigated so what we uh, are defining is on that click on these values being correctly mentioned for the username and password the page will get to the current page will move to the page 2 which has the welcome message on it else it will show you a invalid password alert uh, on the page so that's what either the username is wrong or the password is wrong in both the cases it will uh, when the password is wrong it will mention their password is wrong when the username is wrong it will say invalid username so herein is where we have closed a script tag if you see also in the body we are defining the way in which the page looks so we would see that you know two types of ids are there one is for your password wherein we are mentioning that uh, you know the password is uh, mentioned and the placeholder is this for it then we have also defined the input class button so this is the button that we are clicking and on the click of the button what we are saying that on the click event you go to this display function okay so this display function that we just understood the code will move on the click of the button here and accordingly give us the expected uh, screen or I would say the second page. So this is a simple code and herein we have given the divisions on the page. How would you like to see your uh, page, the display, etc. So this is a very, very simple code that you can use. There is one page that defines the welcome. Then there is your style sheets, which basically define the uh, you know, border, width, font, the different uh, padding, etc. that you want to define on the page. Basically, the styling of the page. And then you have multiple such JS programs that we have provided here. So, supposingly, this is index.html file for your uh, clock. Uh, there is a simple clock that we have created in JavaScript. There is one floor of flex panel as well that you can check out this flex panel or this array javascript array card are the other programs that you can check out on your own and understand to uh, simply make interesting uh, applications or programs in javascript hope this was helpful and thank you so much Hope you found this session useful. You can find the link to the JavaScript kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more. Try out Candy kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the open Weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye bye.